Hey you two, welcome back to another video and thanks for joining me. So we're out and about today trying to collect some escaping materials. If this is something you're interested in then please stay tuned. Without further ado, let's crack on with today's video. Okay, so I'm out today just for a little bit of exercise, a little bit of fresh air, which is nice. Let's take a look around this woodland area, which is amazing. I'm gonna see if we can pick up some escaping materials and some stuff for some of the terrariums. But I thought while I'm here, I'll show you this little spot. It's not just a little walk, this is quite a special place for me. And obviously we did lose a green tree python last year, and we did live around this area, and this is where we buried them. So I just thought I'd show you that, as morbid as that might be. Bronwyns and upwards, let's crack on with today's video. Hey, okay, so we're back. So hope you enjoyed that little trip out. I know I definitely did. Had to have a quick change. It's a little bit hot out there. So we managed to collect some moss, which is mainly sphagnum moss for some future scapes. I'm gonna say future scapes. It's probably gonna be for uh, the existing panther chameleon setup, potentially the fire belly toads and Castro. Uh, I'm pointing, you can't even see. Uh, Castro are Cuban night and all. So free little bit of moss there. What I'd say is if you're going to collect moss from the wild or any plants or anything like that, then just make sure that you take only as much as you need and try not to take the whole supply of that particular area, um, just so it can replenish and then obviously you can go and collect some more in the future. So, nice bit of free moss, we'll make the most out of that. And we haven't ruined the environment. Amazing. So now we've had a nice trip out, I did get home, opened the door and we had some deliveries. So we're going to go ahead now and do some unboxings. I I think I got some scaping materials and hopefully some plants so we can finish off the idea behind you. Like you can see, and you might have seen in the last video, I've been having to play around with a hardscape. When I set up with a light like that, why wouldn't you? But that's enough of me waffling on about nonsense. Let's crack on with today. Okay, so here's the first delivery. So we'll just open this now and see what's going on. Um, the good thing about having Castro's tank on the floor is I can now use it as an unboxing table. Amazing. Okay, so let's use my trusty knife. Okay, so I've got a feeling we should have some substrate in here. Okay, so it looks like we've got some fluval stratum, which is amazing, which I'm gonna try and redo or make the some of the nano tanks a little bit better. So that's what that's for. I don't think there's anything else in here. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so we've got one more. So I'm hoping this is gonna be alright because the box somehow is already open. And I'm expecting it to be some plants. Okay, let's get rid of the packaging. Um, we've got 
two lots of plants. So these should be two different types of java fern. Should be, I think, trident and narrow leaf. Okay, so one. This looks like the narrow leaf. And so does this, so let's get into them and have a look. Let's get rid of the box. Okay, so I ordered these plants from Aqua Essentials and I'll leave the links in the description for their store. Um, I buy a lot of my plants from them and they've always been really reliable. And these are plants from Tropica, as they usually are. Unfortunately, I'm not sponsored, but Tropica are watching. Hello. Okay, so that looks like, yeah, narrow leaf. Oh, not even in the chart. Yeah, I think narrow leaf. Made some sure five of each. So there's one, and we'll put these in the plant bin once we're done as well. Okay, so I'm hoping this is the trident. Yeah, it looks more like it. Oh so yeah, trident, so like we thought. So five of those. So we're just gonna drop these in the plant bin. So as you know, I've got a lot of plants in the plant bin at the moment for the ADA setup, and we've got some future things we wanna do with the discus, as well as some of the nano tanks. So we'll put these in there for now. So all I'm gonna do is just remove these individually from their bags, like so. And literally just put them into the bin. I don't know about you, but these plants are looking really healthy, to be fair. Quite nice, big specimens as well. When I've had them in the past, I had too much luck with them, so I'll give them another go. So I am gonna start to run out of room in this bin at some point. Make sure they're all sat at the bottom. My hands. I don't know if we're gonna have enough room for all these. Frank's getting a lot of nice new plants in his tank. I hope they'll keep him happy. But these plants are really easy to care for plants. Obviously Tropica, they do add a care difficulty measure on their plants, like you can see, this one's rated easy. So if you're getting into plants, Tropica are a great way of going about that. All right, we've got another six. So I don't think you want to see any more of this. Why don't we do a time-lapse? Okay, so we've been out to collect some moss today and I'll do a video on that and how to prepare that and add it into the terrarium coming soon. But we've got the plants into the bin for some of the future projects, like I said, the discus the angel fish tank and some of the nano systems as well as the new ADA 45P. So as you can see, I've been playing around some hardscape in there and they're probably some of the materials I'm gonna use. So we need to make sure that they sink when I add them in because they've been sapped in some of my uh, hardscape bins up in the attic. So I'm gonna remove the hardscape from this and put it into the angelfish tank just so we can sink. As you've seen, there's no more room in the bin because of all the plants. And then I'll come back to you. Okay, so you managed to get the bog wood that we're gonna use in the 45P now to sink in the tank. Like you might have seen that some of them sank straight away anyway, because they're quite dense, but there are a couple of pieces still floating. So the last thing you wanna do is set up an aquascape and then all the hardscape floats to the top and ruins everything you've done. But I hope you've enjoyed today's video. And um, I think it's been something a little bit different. Obviously we've done some unboxings, we've been out and about and explained some of the plans for the future. As always, if you're new to this channel, then you do a massive favor and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. If you're a regular viewer to this channel, thanks very much. And if you can do me a massive favor and hit that thumbs up and drop me a comment just to show YouTube you're enjoying this sort of content and allows you to make more videos like these. There's plenty of things coming up in the future. We've still got to set up some scapes and tidy some of the existing setups we've got. And I hope you'll join me on those journeys. As always, I'll release a short video like I've done today on a Wednesday and then a full video on a Sunday, so make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss out on those. But I think that's enough for me waffling on today. A massive thanks from me, and I'll see you next time.